Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, and today's tutorial is all about a corsage, a wrist corsage. The easiest way that I've found to do it is to use a technique, I think they call a ribbon or a tie on the wrist. That way it can fit anybody's wrist. Uh, I find it to be the easiest way to actually create the corsage as well. So let's stop the chit chatting, like always and let's jump into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need a ribbon to tie around your wrist, some flowers, whatever color choice you want, some greenery, extra little doodads and filler. You're gonna need two pieces of felt that are the same size approximately, and a little bit of cardboard. We're basing it off of this beautiful boutonniere that we did on a different tutorial. And these are the colors that we're gonna work with. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our ribbon. I cut this pretty long. It probably is not going to be needed to be this long. We can shorten it up. That's the brilliance of the ribbon uh, corsage. So we're going to take the cardboard and we're going to put that down first, kind of in the middle of our ribbon. going to start with our leaves. I'm using this particular one is called lemon leaf. It is in our shop. It's a preserved leaf. So it's natural. The one thing we should pay attention to though is if we're going to be putting it this way or this way. So I'm actually going to not put as much right here because then we're not scratching like the person who's wearing it isn't scratching on their wrist. We're gonna add glue right onto the base of the flower itself, kind of all around. So depending on how I set it on the leaves, it's gonna catch somewhere. And I'm actually purposely putting it on the side. So we're gonna cut like right here so that we don't cut off the, um, the flower itself. But now we can get that in there so much easier. Am I ready for a wedding? I think I am. This one again, like, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep the takes in there or not, but you could wear this in multiple different ways. This is probably the most, um, like, comfortable way. These flowers are pretty sturdy. We picked flowers that uh, the petals don't fluff off very easily if bumped. Um, the other side, the other way, the leaves are gonna start to maybe itch a little bit after a while um, if you keep rubbing up against but then you could also flip this long way too, if you wanted to, super, super cute. And with the ribbon, it's so nice because it'll fit anybody's wrist. So you don't have to worry about um, getting everybody's wrist sizes and things like that when you're working on them. This is a great tutorial too, if you wanted to do like a maternity band or maybe a cute little thing for the hair possibly. So have fun with it. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you want to learn more about Oh You're Lovely and the almost a hundred different solo flowers we have now, take a look at ohyourlovely.com. If you're loving these videos and want to see more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell 
because then you'll get notified the next time a tutorial goes live. And until I see you next time, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.